welcome back to my channel it's that time again where i've filled up another box of empties in fact this time around i've got a few more products dusted around on the table in front of me as well because they wouldn't all fit in this box and also these empties are a little bit different these are my lockdown empties so obviously we've been in lockdown for about three months now because of this pandemic and i've been on a mission to try and use up all the products especially hair products that i either don't like ones that don't work for me ones that i've just kind of forgotten about i just want to use them all up rather than wasting them and i thought now is the perfect time because even if they don't work for me it doesn't really matter because no one's gonna see me anyway so you'll find a lot of hair products in here a bit different to the norm i'm gonna dive into this box and show you what i finished and tell you what i thought of it first i just want to get rid of this is a very grimy gillette satin care with a touch of ole vanilla cashmere shaving foam shave gel i really liked this it's very line scaly because of my bathroom um, so i'm not going to touch that any longer but but yeah i really liked this it worked really well i would repurchase it i have repurchased it i'm not fussy about like the scent or the flavor or whatever you call it um i've just bought whichever one was the cheapest in the supermarket this time around so yeah that was great really like that so i've also finished two deodorants this one i literally just finished this morning and it's such a shame because i've got no deodorant left so i need to buy some asap but this is the shaw 48 hour bright bouquet i normally buy the black and white one it's, i think it's just called black and white i'm not a fan of floral scents but just picked this up for me when i asked him to buy me a shore deodorant and so i used it all up um it's fine it works i'm just not a fan of like floral scents so i'm glad that one's gone and i also finished the mitchum invisible no white marks 48 hour clear fresh protection for women i used to use mitchum quite a lot and then i moved on to shore and i've kind of gone back and forth i'm not really loyal to any brand but i quite like this one i would repurchase it again and in fact when I next go to buy deodorant, which will be today, because I've run out, I will just buy whichever one is the cheapest. Um, because they both work, they both do the job well, and they both smell alright. So, you know, what more can you ask for from a deodorant? <laughs> I have this shower gel, and I was sent this as a gift when I won my award for Beauty for Women of Colour. So this was like three years ago, and it's from Aromatherapy Associates. Wow, three years? Yeah, 2017. Three years ago, I was sent this as a gift. And it's from Arom Aromatherapy Associates. It's called their Revive Body Wash. I saved this for the longest time because they sent me this along with their body lotion and bath oils, which I, I loved the bath oils. Absolutely adored them. And I was kind of saving this for like a special occasion. And we ran out of shower gel one day and I just had to crack it open. And do you know what? I'm glad that I did because... I was a bit underwhelmed by it. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't repurchase this. I feel like it's very pricey because it's Aromatherapy Associates. It didn't really wow me. I feel like I really like, like, a zingy sort of something to wake me up in the morning, like shower gel. And this was just meh is the best way that I can describe it. It also ran out very quickly. It has a pump and there's a little bit of product still in the pump. You might be able to see, but you just squeeze it out and it was nothing special really i was a bit disappointed considering obviously i adore their bath oils that was just no not a fan i don't know why jas puts his empties in my box but this is the boots vitamin c brightening sleeping mask so basically a night cream i got sent this range and it just didn't work for me i'm very sensitive to vitamin c and it just kind of breaks me out sometimes and this broke me out instantly so i just didn't touch it he's obviously finished it so i feel like he must have liked it he's very good with his skincare and he's very good with like night cream how does this work yeah he's completely like there's not even a little smells really good this is a very affordable range um which is, i think they're all four pounds so if you aren't sensitive to vitamin c this would be a really good like budget buy he also has kindly left me his clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenish hydrating moisturizer he loved this he has dry or dehydrated skin and he's constantly reapplying moisturizer because he feels like he needs it but I bought him this as part of a gift set for Christmas or his birthday or something ages ago. Oh, and he's just finished it and he loves it. So there's actually a few bits here that he's left me, like his empties. I don't know why, because I have no idea what he thought of this deodorant or this Save the Males moisturiser. I think he thinks it's like somewhere that I'm storing stuff to like 
recycle it or something anyway but anyway that's yeah, quite funny i also finished this clinique take the day off cleansing balm and i absolutely love this there's oh it smells a bit funky now but there's absolutely nothing left in it i used up every last drop of it and it's such a great cleanser i normally go in with my cellar water to kind of do my first cleanse take off my makeup especially mascara and eye makeup and then i go in with a little bit of this rub it all over my face get a hot flannel like what's it called when you like squeeze all the water out so it's still hot but damp and then just take it all off and it takes off every last bit of my makeup it doesn't strip my skin it doesn't leave it feeling dry it leaves it feeling quite hydrated i just absolutely love this stuff i used to be a huge fan of the pixie and caroline hyren's double cleanse but i prefer one side of that to the other and this is the balm side which i prefer so i much prefer to buy the full pot of this because i know that i'll use it all so yeah, I'm sad to see this one go because I used to decant it as well and put it into like a little pot when I travelled. <laughs> Travel, who remembers those days, eh? I also did quite a few face masks. So I've got three here. Okay, the first two are both, both the same. These are the Pixie Glow Glycolic Boost Brightening Infusion Sheet Masks. I love these. I'm a huge fan of the Pixie Glow Tonic. It does wonders for my skin. This was such a nice face mask to put on it instantly brightened my complexion and it was quite hydrating as well it just felt really really nice i did two of those i think i've got one more left if i'm not mistaken and then i found this in my stash this must have been gifted to me it's by a brand called Jana. it's a purifying self foaming sheet mask and oh my god i post this on my instagram stories it was the worst mask i have ever done this smelled really bad in fact i'm going to go through my phone right now because i posted about it on my story and i can't remember what it smelled of but it was just so so bad i had to go back through my instagram story archive but oh my god this stank of fish i mean even if you eat fish or i don't know why would you want that smell in your skincare it was so bad i put it on and then luckily it didn't linger for too long but it was still awful in the first place but then it was kind of stinging it completely stripped my skin dry i had to do a hydrating sheet mask after this i think i probably did the pixie one and it was just the most it was just the worst thing ever it's foaming as well so it felt really like you could feel it foaming on your face which was a bit weird but i didn't hate that it was just i was just not a fan of this at all i would not recommend it the smell alone was just enough to put me off oh my god it was terrible randomly i have two hand washes here i'm a big fan of the bayless and harding hand washes this one's the fuzzy duck gin and tonic i think it was limited edition this was okay wasn't a big fan but then i've discovered this the black pepper and ginseng i think has to be my favorite scent ever it's just so i love a masculine scent and oh it just smells so nice it's such a great hand wash so highly recommend this one i don't think you can even buy the other one anymore because it was like a limited edition thing that i picked up ages ago surprise surprise i finished a hand sanitizer when lockdown first happened and everyone went crazy stockpiling hand sanitizer i couldn't find one for the life of me and luckily we had a couple of half full ones from our last trip abroad to Kenya, I think it was. This was one of them. And it kind of went off in my car because the packaging exploded. So there's a tiny little bit left, but I don't, I don't know, I couldn't really get it out. And I feel like it's maybe gone off or gone a bit funny because it was in my car and it was like in the blazing heat and made the plastic go all funny. So I'm glad I had that when we really needed hand sanitizer. And I've got new ones now because you can buy them everywhere. <laughs> This is the original source water infusions raspberry and rose water shower gel love original source i always buy their shower gel it's just something that i really like my favorite one is the lime followed by the lemon and the water infusions are nice this was quite nice as well this raspberry and rose one was quite nice as well i don't really have a preference i just really like the brand but i do remember because normally shower gel isn't something that i pick up like when i do my weekly shop like i don't buy it on a weekly basis whenever i do buy it i'll buy three or four at a time so that i don't need to worry about running out so i've never really run out of shower gel because we always have like a little stockpile of them at home but this was our very last one and so then i was like this is great i'm not buying any more shower gel because we have so many minis and travel size ones and stolen hotel ones that we needed to get through 
and fancy ones like this aromatherapy associates one i mentioned just to finish and i was like we just need to use them all up if we buy any more what's the point so we did that and let me show you how many we used up it was ridiculous really there's so many they're not even all going to fit into my hands i'm not going to review like the stolen hotel ones i don't even know if you can buy them but we had a peter thomas roth one we had elemis we had a this works all very nice you know their shower gel you can't really go wrong oh another this works one this was body lotion that was great we also had a tuscan soul salvatore ferragamo one from our trip to rome that was a really nice one actually and then i found this hang on i'm really confused here okay so we had an elemis one this is a shampoo so jess has obviously finished that and chucked is it i really need to tell him not to do this and then i found a Melton brown gift set so we still have or oh, i think we finished there was a body lotion there's a shampoo and conditioner which i just give to jas because he's not fussy and i finished the body wash it smells so nice this is their ylang ylang is that how you pronounce it mmm smells really good this one so i'm sure you could probably buy this as a full size size version but this was like a a gift set that we had and then I had these, oh, I absolutely adore Rituals shower gels. These are happy foaming shower gels. Oh, one's harmonizing, one's happy. And this was Jass's, but I used it too. <laughs> Organic bamboo and sandalwood. I just love masculine scents. Like I'm more than happy to use masculine shower gel, body spray, aftershave, whatever. I just love it. And these are just so... It's a shame they were minis because they just smell, all of them, just like, like, you think, the first one I opened, I was like, oh, this one's incredible, the rest won't compare. Then you open the second one, it's like, oh, actually, I prefer this one. They're all just, oh, I just love Rituals ones. I have no idea how much the full-size ones cost because I have had a few minis over time. I think I've even bought, because I feel like fancy shower gel isn't something you buy yourself. I've bought just gift sets which include like ritual shower gels and I've used them myself because obviously he leaves them in the bathroom and I love them but it's not something I'd buy myself just because I feel like other people buy you fancy shower gels. I don't know, is that a thing? Do you guys buy fancy ones for yourself? Let me know in the comments. We're almost done. It wouldn't be a Nishi Empties video without a Boots Curl Cream. You guys know how much I love these and can you believe I've only finished one of these and that is because, let me show you how many hair products I have used up for. This is shampoo. This is the Aussie Calm the Frizz shampoo with Australian hemp seed extract for frizzy hair. I really like this actually, it did the job. It foamed enough, but not too much. It didn't strip my hair, like I've used head and shoulders before. That that's awful for your scalp. I really like this, I think I have repurchased it, maybe a different like hair type one. But I, yeah, I definitely buy this again. I really enjoyed that. And then I finished three hair products. The first one is this John Paul Mitchell is the brand. This was sent to me very recently, actually. It's their Tea Tree Lavender Mint Taming Cream. It's basically a curl cream. I really liked this. They sent me the range. So I got this, a little oil, a big shampoo conditioner, and something else that I don't use. And I used to use this in the shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if it was this or the shampoo that made my hair quite greasy. So I did a little test. I think it's the shampoo and conditioner all in one. This was really nice. It actually worked for my hair. I don't know how much it cost because it was sent to me. But, but like I always say, even though I may like hair products, I wouldn't necessarily purchase them again because this is £1.29 or whatever it is, £1.50, less than that. And you get so much product compared to, this is 100 mil, this is 250 mil, this is two and a half times the size of this one. So even if this was like a pound, I mean, I'd buy it for a pound, but it's not gonna be a pound. This is just so cheap that I just can't deviate from this because I feel like everyone has that one thing. So some people get their hair cut every four weeks and it has to be like pristine, they can't let it grow out, they can't have their roots showing, they love their hair, they, they, they like really care about hair. Other people will only wear high-end makeup, which is kind of me. And like we all have our one thing, and for me, I don't care that much about hair. Like I get my hair cut once every 
two years. Like I had, I literally had my hair cut in February before lockdown. It started in March, and everyone's crying about their hair, and I'm like, yes, I'm set for two years. I don't really care. And like my roots have like grown out to about down here. Normally, when it's curly, you can't actually tell, and I, I, I just don't really care that much about my hair, as long as it doesn't, as long as it looks decent, I don't care. And so this was nice i just wouldn't repurchase it for that reason because it just costs a bit more and again it's the same for this i didn't actually particularly like this but this was also sent to me a like this was one of the very first blogging pr gifts i was ever sent so about five years ago it's mousse which is why i'm not a fan it's the l'oreal Kerastase discipline mousse curl ideal i got like a whole the whole range of stuff this was my least favorite i really liked the cream i remember that but this is still mousse like mousse hasn't really changed much since the 80s 90s it's still quite crispy not as crispy as it used to be but it's just nah not a fan and i guess that one was quite pricey so i definitely wouldn't repurchase this one however i would and i have repurchased this is the frizz ease original six effects serum so whenever i straighten my hair i have a whole process as opposed to just one product when my hair is curly, I load my hair up with products and I've got so many that I found that all work really well in conjunction with one another and this is like my very last step. There's a little bit left in here. I couldn't get it out. I just put a little bit of serum. It's not gonna work. Just through my hair, you know, just turn the frizz. And the frizzies one is great. I've repurchased it, or I think they've changed the packaging and the name this again would be like two three years old because i don't straighten my hair that much i don't use these products that much so i know for a fact that one particular hair product i used it yesterday when i first rated my hair is i think it's like eight years old and i don't think you could buy it anywhere but i just i love that product so much so these do last me a long time and i have just recently bought one again because i love it i also finished this eye blend and care false eyelash blender it's basically just a mascara there's something about the wand that i really like so it really grips on well to your natural lashes but also like grips onto the false ones so you like you put your mascara on you put your falsies on and then you use this just kind of smush the two together and it just works really well in like making your falsies look as natural as possible mine is completely dried out though so it's time to say goodbye to it which is a shame because i feel like it would have lasted a lot longer it's just that i don't wear false eyelashes that often and so these things just dry out quite quickly for me a makeup product as you can see there's not much makeup in here because i've not been going anywhere so i haven't been wearing much makeup but i did finish this nyx eyebrow pencil and i wear this in the shade espresso this is their micro brow pencil i love this i think i've got like six backups of this because it was like three for two plus 20 percent off or something on black friday so i bought like six so i've still got quite a few left but it's completely finished it's got a really fine nib and the other end is a spoolie so it's really really great and this matches my um hair color perfectly in fact i'm wearing it today i just use a clear brow gel on top to set my eyebrows and i just i absolutely love it i finished an eye cream this is from heaven skincare this is called their eye smoother gel this one was a really weird product i was determined to finish it just because i don't know i, I feel like i just i open so many new bits of skincare all the time and so if it ever gets finished it's because i've given it to jazz it's not because i finished it myself so it's like i'm determined to finish this and i didn't really like it it was just really weird like first of all hate sticking my fingers into pots second of all it was just a blue gel i don't it could have like been anything i don't know like i don't feel like it did anything it didn't like it didn't help with my dark circles it might have helped with puffiness if i had puffy eyes because it's a gel so it's quite nice and cooling didn't help with fine lines and wrinkles it was just a bit of a weird product i don't think it actually did anything apart from just act as quite a nice base for makeup so yeah it's a bit of an odd one wouldn't really repurchase that so i have a hand cream here this is the palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin e daily skin therapy softens relieves rough dry skin 24 hour moisture for hands elbows and knees basically a hand cream this was oh smells nice it smells just like cocoa butter wasn't my favorite hand cream i have so many different brands i'm constantly buying like loads to find the one that i love this isn't one that i love it was quite nice in fact i think just used most of it up but yeah it was nice enough 
I am not going to be repurchasing hand cream for a long time because I have so many that I need to get through. But that was decent. It's quite a good budget one if you want something quite thick and moisturising. And last but not least, I have this Landon Tyler diffuser. It's called Wild Berries. Hope you can see it. I've also just realised I've got one hand painted and the other one I haven't because I didn't. I ran out of time yesterday, so don't look at this hand. But yeah, this is the diffuser that I had in my bathroom. I really like the scent of it, but for some weird reason, I noticed that this one ran out a lot quicker than other diffusers do. So I don't know if that's like something to do with the quality of it or if the window was open because like our toilet is quite narrow and so the diffuser would be on the window still, right? But with the toilet windows open it was really weird it didn't last very long i do have another one i think which is a different scent so i'm gonna like open that one up and keep an eye on it and see how long it lasts but just it was just a really weird thing that i noticed that within a few weeks this was just completely empty and i didn't even get a chance to, like flip the sticks as you would so yeah really odd observation but i really like the fragrance of this and yeah that is my empty so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up let me know what product you're trying to get through as quick as possible during lockdown or what you have finished really quickly during lockdown because that'd be really interesting to know for me it's definitely hair products i want to try and just get my stash down to the ones that i just truly love and actually use and then i'll be really happy <laughs> but please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon with a new video bye